Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kriam of Magnetic Service. My partner steps aside, and he does. And the filters are clear, and we have explained this before. He doesn't know what's coming. He is giving allowance, not for a takeover, but for a meld. Dear ones, every single one of you can channel. And it's not necessarily in this fashion. The channeling I'm talking about would be messages that are from the creative source. Messages for you, especially for others sometimes. You've got it. That's the subject of the channel, that you have it. I cannot emphasize enough the issue between old and new. Some would say this particular channeling is a review. It isn't, not really. It is an enhancement of many channels, giving you information that you need to hear, including those in this room. Those listening, I want you to hear this clearly. There was an old energy on this planet which has been around for eons. This old energy has been static and unchangeable and you have continued to slog through it as human beings. Lifetime after lifetime. You awaken in the birth canal outside and nothing has changed. Another life to be lived and it is. If you had a situation where you could see my view of it, you'd see a time before you came in, the wind of birth, where you had all knowing before you arrived yet again on the planet. And you saw the potentials. And you knew the system. You knew the puzzle. You knew the meaning of life. You knew the meaning of the galaxy. You were part of the creative source. This is what you do. You have infinite wisdom. Your name is sung in light. And you're ready to go yet again into human form. You willingly come. You would not miss it because the potential is that you would pass this marker into a graduation. Even hundreds of years ago, the potential existed and you were here for it. Building an Akash, we call it. Knowing full well that you would come to the earth and perhaps not survive for long. Come back, come back, come back. Channel after channel, we have given you some very emotional. Saying it's why we love you the way we do. Did we see what you've gone through? It's not a sacrifice. It's work. I've never been human. There is such respect and honor for who you are. This represents an old energy. Why would you continue coming if there were not a reason? Why would you be here? if not for something bigger. Dear ones, there is a plan afoot. My partner tells you that the indigenous had prophecy about a new energy. They didn't have the entire story, but that which they had was good. And it talked about now. In 1987, the harmonic convergence talked about now. When I came in in 1989 and started to channel to my partner even before the book that you know of as Crying Book One was made, I talked about now. Everything that has ever been said was a ramp up to now. My entire existence on the planet as a helper, as, as one who informs and loves and holds your hands, is about now. I cannot in, emphasize to you who you are and what has actually taken place. 
I said last night to you that things were shifting and changing. I gave you a report of where you were. You can listen to it if you wish. I want to tell you more tonight about what you can become and what is going on with you personally right now. First this, from the very beginning, we told you that if you would make it past this mark, and we said you would, the millennium is gone, the precession of the equinoxes is in full swing, you are past the marker of the center. You are in year two of what we call a new energy, a new paradigm for humanity. Things are happening slowly. You have moved past 2013. You are in recalibration still. Things are starting to settle. I bring you information I could not bring you in 2013. You wouldn't have believed it in 2013. What I want to do is paint a picture of the new human. I call it that because it's a new human and a new energy with a different personality, with different abilities, with a different past. I know who's here. I know who's listening. I want to engage what is called that which is the dynamic of the entourage and the third language so you're going to get a message that's different than the one I deliver in English. I want you to see the pictures. I want you to feel what I'm telling you right now about you. I'm talking to the old souls in the room and listening. I'm talking to those who feel it. Some who are frustrated it's not happening fast enough but you know I'm right and you're feeling it. I want to talk to you about things that you can change in your life that you didn't never ever thought you could change. An old paradigm told you chapter and verse you couldn't do anything about it and now I'm saying oh yes you can. And the reason is because the new energy on this planet is real. And it is enhancing the power and enabling the old soul. Did you hear that? Enabling the old soul. Here you sit, old soul, with bad self-worth, wondering why you're here, and wondering when this awful time is going to be over. <laughs> the awful time meaning frustration, that which perhaps has not been seen before, worry perhaps, confusion about what is coming or why you're feeling the way you are or as my partner says, waiting for the other shoe to drop. There's much of this. I want you to turn the page in your life right now and I want you to get out your pen and rewrite everything. It's time to go, and I mean to start. It's time to start. Go, meaning the start line. Ready, set, go. <laughs> and what you have to start understanding is your new ability in the new energy and who you are. It's time to stop repairing things and time to start building them. Not looking backwards into what it used to be and contemplating what's coming, but simply being what is. Difficult to describe, even in this language. I want to start with health. What have you been told you cannot do? <laughs> what is permanent? And the answer, dear one, is nothing is permanent. Perhaps you have been told that a certain thing is a certain way and always will be. Perhaps even you have tried to shift it in an older energy using things that are metaphysical, spiritual, and got nowhere. I'm talking to somebody here. And what I'm going to tell you is, do it again. 
Don't try. Do it now in a new energy that understands you who sees you, old soul, as a master. You are developing master energy. Graduate of this planet, you are an old soul with the most experienced. You are in line. My partner says it is your legacy to start understanding who you are. Do you understand that the energy itself on this planet looks at you differently, is waiting for you to go instead of worry? It's important. Your health is determined by many factors. Medical health is determined by age sometimes. I want you to forget it. You can rewrite that which is inside, which actually controls the chemistry of your aging. You can re rewrite inside that which is anything that is wrong with you. You can rewrite back pain. You can rewrite habits. You can rewrite metabolism. Did you know that? I am talking to those who need to hear it who need to get out of suffering, who need to understand that consciousness is in control of everything, everything. You got a sore toe? Think it well. <laughs> you think that's funny? It is to you, perhaps. But I want to give you information. Maybe you didn't even expect your general health can be whatever you want it to be. Your energy can be whatever you want it to be only if you put aside what you were told. This is new. This is not something you've heard before in an old energy and you're going to try. This is something you deserve that you have earned and you have the ability to turn the key, start the engine and do it. I want to talk to you about genetic issues. Somebody is here. You need to hear this. Genetic issues. Your father had it. Your mother had it. Your sister had it. Your brother had it. You got it. Or you're going to get it. So what happens to you now? You wring your hands until you're a certain age and you look for it because you were told you're going to get it. Or perhaps you even got it. Are you aware that genealogy is chemistry? you know that you can rewrite it. Predispositions for illness and disease sit there as instructions on a piece of paper waiting for your consciousness to erase them. That is your power. You don't have to go through it, dear ones. And here is that which I want to tell you. Mom, Dad, if you're sitting there in this condition, your children are looking at you, waiting for you to get it. Because they know and have been told, they're in line. And if you rewrite it, there's going to be an aha. Your children will see it. Mom rewrote it. Dad rewrote it. They will have an awareness they never had because of what you do right now. And they'll say to themselves, oh, I never have to get it. Whatever she did, I can do. The salvation of your children with genetic issues is in your hands. Dear one, I want you to rewrite it. I want you to believe this is doable and do it. Then I want you to stand tall and shout it to everybody for them to see that you're not going to get it or catch it. Or you're done with it. Number three, nothing is going to happen, dear human, until you stand up taller and drop this ridiculous self-worth issue. <laughs> it's ridiculous in my eyes because I see you as masters. It's time to grow up. The self-worth is a holdover from the past. Nothing now. It hasn't happened now. Don't let it happen now. It's time for you to get out the pencil, turn it over, and erase lack of self-worth. Affirmations 
Give yourself affirmations if you need to. Let the body know who you are. I am a master. I am healthy. <laughs> I am in control of my reality. I'm in control of my health. I am you thing. I am, I am, I am. And then watch it. Watch the body work it. Watch it happen. I have self-worth. I am strong. I am masterful in my wisdom. My innate and I are together. <laughs> and the body will respond. Just tell it who you are. Stop wallowing in what you think might be victimization or anything else. That's not for anyone here. That's for somebody listening later. And you know who I am. Oh, you're so much bigger. This new energy, you can feel it. There are some of you, you don't know why. You don't, you don't know what you're feeling. That's it. Some of you are feeling it and you think something's wrong. <laughs> That's how different it is. What if it's more power and more enablement? What if it's greater wisdom? What it's you being able to stand tall and being an example you never have been to those around you? Show them what you can do. Make them ask who you are and how you've done it. And the final one is stop fearing the future. You heard me say that before. That's going to be a stopper. Don't fear the future. Do you think we really brought you this far in order to destroy you in a catastrophe? Do you think we brought you this far for you to get to this place so that you'd be conquered by the darkness? I want you to use spiritual logic and relax with these things. I'm sitting in front of grown-ups, spiritual grown-ups, not children anymore. I watched you for eons in the playground of life with a spirituality which was beginning. I'm sitting in front of grown-ups. So it's time to be a grown-up. A new human being is one who knows who they are. Starts to claim that which they deserve and move forward in a new light and a new reality. That's the new human. I'm passionate. From the other side of the veil, the creative source, I'm saying get with it. I'm passionate because I see who you are. And many of you don't. That's why there's emotion, because I know what you can do. Now go do it. <laughs> I am Cryon, in love with humanity. And so it is.